So our core wounds are a template that we hold within our energetic system and within our body's intelligence. Quite often the first seven years of our life is when these core wounds originate, but we can also bring a version of it from our ancestral lineages and from past lifetimes. It's really important to know that the core wound or template is not a label or a badge to identify ourselves with because the human ego, the wounded part of us, wants to do that. Our higher self knows that these are templates for us to resolve, to dissolve the inorganic version of it and move into mastery. That's our organic state. This is what it means for mastery. So we are no longer a slave to our wound. We know that it's in the background. We're resolving it. We're mastering it. We're transcending it. It might always be there as a slight imprint, but that's to remind us just how far we've come. So it's not to further victimize ourselves. And let's also remember that we've all been perpetrators, victimizers and victims in the many myriad of experiences of our human lifetimes. We master our core wounds and we, we turn it inside out. We need to learn it, we need to know it so that we know what has been guiding us in our trauma responses throughout our lifetime. This is a form of self-inquiry and it leads us further into the observation, the witnessing part of us. So we're not taking things personally, we're not criticizing and judging. We watch our thoughts and our words that we say to ourselves, our self-talk and to others, moving away from the constant self-criticism the constant criticism of others and judging others. Even when we label something as good or bad, we're judging. As we move into mastery, we're moving into a deeper observation, just a watching. This keeps the energy in our heart more clear, more open. So this is part of our stepping stone into becoming more empowered and worthy of living a life based on the frequency of love not fear. These false templates are based on a frequency of fear. This is the dualistic frequency that shows us contrast but the problem is that we've become um, embedded with this currency, this frequency of fear because this is what the matrix has been built on and as we move into empowerment we're transcending that frequency. We need to know it so that we can rise above it and then we choose to allow the frequency of love back into our hearts. Now remembering that love is not always full of bliss but it is a harmonizing energy that is free of distortion. For example this universe is based on a frequency of love but that doesn't mean it doesn't test us. That doesn't mean it doesn't contract us sometimes because we are in a dualistic realm so we have to have that understanding and that experience of challenge so that we can rise above it and understand what it is so that we don't become a slave to it any longer. We are mastering our core wounds.